All right, I wanted to do a video on chemtrails or geoengineering. I haven't done one in a long time. I went outside. I got some great footage of some spraying that was going on over my house, and I wanted to do this video. Um, those planes were flying. Man, they were flying. And it doesn't make me happy, I'll tell you that. Now, I wanted to do two things. I'm going to read you a recent article that I found on geoengineering. And yes, it's real, and it's accredited. And I'll put the link in the description so you can read it yourself. Now, I kind of summarized it. I took the $400 words out and did a thesaurus search and basically simplified it a little bit, but it's this, if you read it and read it again and read it four times, I've read it 15 times, so I've extracted the real information out of it. Um, you can read it yourself, go to the description, click the link, but I'm going to read it to you here. And where I got it is the, I'll read it to you here. Um, geophysical research letters all right and it's the climate response to pulse versus sustained stratospheric aerosol forcing okay now there's uh, $100 words in there that basically says climate response to quick geoengineering, massive all at once geoengineering um, compared to gradual stratospheric or, or the sky, gradual geoengineering, in other words with aircraft. So what they're doing is they're they're performing a study on an eruption of particulate matter all at once versus particulate matter that's sprayed gradually like you see over your head if you stop looking at your cell phone and look up alright look up once in a while look at your sky look up that's those aren't contrails people those are chemtrails the ones that lay down lines and then drip and spread out and look like a fake cloud look like a cloud but it's a fake cloud strontium barium aluminum now I'm going to read you I'll, I'll go in to read you this now this this article uh, the website is AGU publications so it's AGU 100 advancing earth and space science it's in Washington DC it's called the American Geophysical Union and it's in Washington DC it's a serious um, division of the of the United States government or it could be private could be funded I don't know you can check it out again I'll put the link in now this is basically it and at the end of this I will show you my video of geoengineering or chemtrails or stratospheric aerosol injection or whatever you want to call it it's basically spraying crap in the sky over your head if you look alright this is the plain language conclusion of the 15 page report this is it okay ready go this study compares major volcanic eruptions natural and unnatural with stratospheric sulfate particulate aerosol spraying or geoengineering. Both aim to cool the climate by blocking the infrared heat of the sun and therefore reducing the amount of carbon dioxide. Volcanic eruptions produce an aerosol layer of sulfite, sulfate particulate matter that stays in the stratosphere for a couple of years, whereas aircraft geoengineering needs to sustain the aerosol particulate layer persistently to reduce infrared heat warming and carbon dioxide 
we use the climate model to compare climate changes in response to a volcano volcano like pulse aerosol injection spraying and a geoengineering sustained injection spraying when producing similar amount of global mean cooling the pulse aerosol forcing results in much larger reduction in land temperature when compared to sustained aerosol geoengineering. Rain production and temperature decrease much more with pulse aerosol geoengineering. Spatial patterns of temperature and the precipitation cycle change also differ substantially. Summary, the global climate response and consequences between pulse aerosol geoengineering and sustained aerosol geoengineering are different. Basically, to really conclude all that, is they're saying if you put a bunch of crap in the sky all at once, a whole bunch, it reduces the heat and it stops the rain, period. It slows down and it stops the rain much more than spraying the atmosphere with particulate matter slowly and gradually. It reduces the rain less and it kind of reduces the heat about the same is what they're saying, but it is more. It's definitely more with the pulse geoengineering. So basically this whole, this whole study was saying that when you do pulse it like a volcano, when you pulse the crap in the sky like a volcano, it reduces the rain a lot more and it does reduce the heat more. So they're saying that what they're basically telling you is gradual geoengineering, chemtrailing, spraying like you see above your head if you look, um, is better. And it's safer. There's less climate change. Although, if you think about it, the places that get sprayed the most, like California and other places, get the least amount of rain. You'll find that out. Geoengineering, chemtrails, reduce or completely stop rainfall, period. And again, what is uh, geoengineering or chemtrails? They spray aluminum, barium, strontium, particulate matter, and some people say volcanic ash, some kind of sulfate or sulfite ash that blocks the infrared heat of the sun from hitting the earth, therefore cooling the earth and reducing carbon dioxide. Now, put it in the comments if you know this because I did some research and I couldn't figure it out. Does sulfate or sulfite particulate matter directly reduce carbon dioxide in the air. This, this, this study kind of points to that. It, it doesn't say it directly. They never say anything directly. They always go around and around. They got to be careful with the language they use. But um, if you know about that, put it in the comments. I need to know if that sulfite or sulfates reduce carbon dioxide in the air directly with some kind of chemical reaction or does it convert the carbon dioxide to something else now I do I will tell you that sulfates or sulfides in the air produce acid rain and we all know acid rain is bad right well they're probably spraying that crap up there creating acid rain which is bad it kills wildlife it kills plants and animals and trees I'm sure it gets in your lungs and screws them up too. It gets in your system. All this stuff's really bad for you. Aluminum, strontium, barium uh, cause Alzheimer's, dementia, cancer, the whole nine yards. All right. And they, in England right now, the highest uh, death rate is from dementia or Alzheimer's. Where does it come from? It's from the aluminum that they spray in the air. It gets in the lungs. That was never there before. It's just been in the last 30 years or so, and it's getting worse every day. 
All right, well, that's my uh, report for now on geoengineering chemtrails, uh, stratospheric aerosol injection, whatever the heck you want to call it. Now I'm going to uh, get on with the video of the chemtrails above my head. And guess what? You'll see these too if you just look up. As always, please put your comments in the, in, in down there in the comments. Let me know what you think. Do you think, are there chemtrails above your head? Um, or do you think this is all bunk? There's plenty of disinformation out there. You'll find out on YouTube, every time you, you watch a chemtrails video, a little blurb pops up underneath the actual video that says, contrails. And it gives you a, an explanation of contrails. The video is about chemtrails. They're trying to, it's disinformation by YouTube. And I'm sure some alphabet agency that uh, we all know about somehow gets them to have that little message pop up as instant disinformation project mockingbird to try to sway you to think that chemtrails are really contrails but they're not it's not water vapor people it's particulate matter crapola all right all right, well, I'm signing off. Again, uh, like this video, share it out there, and uh, subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Do that and ring the bell. You've got to click the bell and get the notifications, or you won't know when I put up new videos. If you do that, you'll get a notice um, when I put a new video up. And I don't do a ton of them lately, but so you want to watch them when I do them if you're interested in this kind of subject. All right, without further ado, here comes the video of my chemtrails above my head. Everyone take care. All right, I wanted to do a quick video, a chemtrail video. Haven't done one in a long time, so I thought I'd do one. Um, there was a blue sky this morning, and now it's completely covered with chemtrails. If you, as you can see, this, this is the latest one right here. This is the latest one that just went by, and you can see how when they sprayed, the thin spray has spread to a thick spray and the fake cloud. That was just a pencil thin spray, and then of course it expands. And all the lines you see over here, these are all chemtrails, everything. Um, there's some thin ones there. You can see the thin lines. There's a hodgepodge of a bunch of lines over there. I'll zoom in. Hodgepodge of lines there. And what they're trying, what they tell us is, and here's some more on the horizon here. As you can see. Now keep in mind, people, that's a fake cloud right there. That was, I saw the airplane lay this down, and you can see how it's spread out as a fake cloud. Now what they tell us is they're spraying to reflect the heat of the sun back into the atmosphere to reduce global warming. You can see right back there there's an X. There's another. They love doing this. X marks the spot. I don't know. It's pretty far away. Hopefully you can see that. But X marks the spot right there. Um, so what they're telling us is they're blocking the heat to reduce global warming and uh, I don't know but it's about five degrees here it's I don't know ten degrees in Minnesota it's very very cold so we don't need to reduce the uh, for the heat on the earth right now and what they're spraying is aluminum oxide barium strontium and a whole host of crap that who knows what it is but we're talking chemtrails here in, uh, in Minnesota in the winter. And they're laying it down. And this one is the biggest, thickest one. And everything you see it that way, everything you see this way, that now is just a solid line of clouds here. All of that was just lines. That's not a normal cloud. All that was sprayed. I watched them do it this morning. So we got a Thursday, 
a chemtrail Thursday, people. Isn't it lovely? Death from above, Agenda 21, the great culling, whatever you want to call it, here it is. This is the New World Order spraying us to depopulate the Earth. Look up some of my other videos. You can check the Georgia Guidestones. They even chiseled it in stone that they want to reduce the population of the Earth. So, happy uh, Chemtrails Christmas, everyone. Chemtrails MN, signing off. All right, I'm in the car, and this chem trailer came buzzing by. No, I'm not driving. I'm a passenger. For all you people out there who think I'm driving, I'm not. And uh, there's a chem trail plane that just went by, and he cruised, 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 and he took a left, quick left turn. Now we got trees. Unbelievable. But uh, you can kind of see it through the trees there. He took a left turn into the X. And right by the X that we saw earlier. So it's really weird. It's like they're flying around that X. And hopefully you can see it in between the trees. There it is. But uh, I'm going to stop and then maybe we'll get a better view of it there, right there. So there you go. Chemtrail fun. They were out of the trees a little bit better. You can see the X. There's the X, and then you can see where he flew and took a right turn there, right by the X, off into the oblivion, the rest of the white aluminum oxide death from above. So there's our latest plane that went by, and all, and there's a big thick one. That's not a cloud, people. That's that's chemtrails. That that's thick chemtrails that spread out. So I'll keep on the watch. They're really spraying today, and if I can get a fresh plane, I will, but I'll sign off for now. All right, here we got a fresh chemtrail plane just went by, and he's right. He's zooming off that way very fast. It's one of the fastest chemtrail planes I've ever seen. Laying down a nice line here fresh line of chemtrails and the whole sky is just full of chemtrails but that was a fresh plane looks like he sputtered out there a little bit there's a tree in the way and then he got some chemical back and he's spraying again I don't know if you can see that but it looks like he stopped spraying he started spraying again now it's coming out solid so he ran out of chemtrail juice so there he's chemtrailing, there it kind of stops, and then he starts up again, and it's going strong. Plenty of chemtrail juice there. And they've been chemtrailing all day, and if you look over here, there's a line right there. That's how they're chemtrailing. All day, all of what you see here is chemtrails, death from above.